Okay guys, here we go. The Panda Gamepad Pro uh, video. Okay, so in the description I've put a web link <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how to do the download. Okay, so the web link is going to take you to this web page. When you get to this web page, you want to come down to here and you want to click on this download button. Then you want to click here and start the download. When the download starts, you can get this warning come up saying this file may harm your device. It's okay. We'll click okay and we'll download it. When you go to open it, there's going to be a warning. <clears throat> okay, I've already allowed it, but you might have to allow from your settings to install this file. A little uh, window might pop up saying warning, uh, allow downloads from this source, and you've just got to allow it. Okay, if any permission comes up, just select it, let it go through, it's all good. All right, now we've, on, we've installed the app, that's it. Panda Gamepad Pro, you haven't paid for it, it's all good. It's going to ask you to allow access to your photos and files, allow it. Give it all the permissions that it asked for. And that's it, you're in Panda Gamepad Pro. I've already added a couple of games onto it. Um, now you need to activate it. Guys, there's no way, I've tried a million ways, there's no way you're going to activate it without a PC. The only way you're going to activate it without a PC is to jailbreak your phone and, and get the full admin privileges on your phone. Um, rooting your phone, they call it. Uh, depending on what phone you've got, every post is different, so uh, I couldn't really give any tips on how to do that. Plus, it's, there's a chance that you could break your phone by doing it. So I'm going to switch over to the computer and show you how to activate it. But I'm sorry, guys, if you haven't got a computer or a laptop, there's no way. And you're going to need it to hand because this app has a, for some reason, it just keeps on deactivating. So you'll activate it. Then two or three minutes later, it will deactivate. You're going to have to have the computer next to your phone when you're playing it because it will just deactivate randomly and you're going to have to reactivate it. So it's not even that you have to, you know, the computer needs to be yours. It needs to be in your room. It needs to be there when you're playing it. This app does activate and it's not because it's a free download. It's because it's, that's what happens with this app. It's quite unstable. All right, guys. So basically the first thing you're going to want to do before you plug your phone into the computer is you're going to want to put your phone in developer mode. Now, I've got a Samsung, so most phones are going to be the same. Just Google how to put your phone into developer mode. What you do in the Samsung, you go to About Phone, Software Information, and Baseband Number, no, Build Number. It says developer mode has already been enabled, but if you press Build Number seven times, it will open a new menu that's called Developer Mode. Now once developer mode is here, it's going to be at the bottom. It's going to be in developer options. You're going to want to go into developer options and you're going to want to select USB debugging. Okay. That's what you're going to want to um, select. And that way, when you plug it into your computer, your computer can now activate it on Panda. That was... Um, the main thing that I needed to put on this video. There's a lot of other cool options in here. You've got default USB uh, transfiguration. You can put that on USB tethering as well if you want uh, to help do it. And yeah, that's it for now. I'm just seeing because they've put new options in here. So yeah, you put on developer mode, enable developer mode, 
and enable USB debugging. Okay, so we've now got the phone, we've put it in developer mode. So we're going to want to go to Panda Gamepad Pro. We're going to want to activate it. So to activate it, you click on activation, you click on here, you go to the website that they've got here, okay? Or just go, I'm going to put it in the description actually, so you can just click the link in the description. It's going to take you to a website. The website's going to get you to download a little zip file. Now let me show you my computer screen. Okay. So on my computer screen, once you've got Panda Gamepad Pro, you open it, you go to activate. That's what you're going to want to open first. You're going to want to get a cable and get your phone, plug your phone into the, into the computer. A message is going to pop up on your computer saying, allow this computer to connect. Allow, see, something like that's going to pop up. So you're going to want to click yes. You want to allow, and so if a message pops up on your phone, allow it as well. So you want to, on the phone, be on this window. So need activation, click that. Activate by PC or Mac. Go to that website, download the, the activator. Once you've got to activator, you go to it. Open activate while your phone's plugged in. It's going to run an operation. Once the operation is run, Panda is going to be activated. Give it a sec. Alright, so now it's saying that Panda's activated. And now on the screen, Panda's activated. Bear in mind, this program likes to disconnect a lot. I don't know why, but it just likes to disconnect. You add your game here. It will load all the games and stuff that is in your phone. And you select which game you want. So if I wanted to add a uh, Panda Gamepad Booster, I add it and then it goes on to there. Okay. Now we've activated Panda. Now we need to connect our device. I'm using an Xbox uh, 360 controller. Uh, let me show the controller. Where is it? Put it around here yesterday. I stopped using it because I started obviously playing Counter Strike. And I tried to play it with a controller, but the controller configuration. On, uh, on Counter Strike is messed up. Alright, and I can't find my controller. <clears throat> Fuck's sake, man. Okay, so here we are in Call of Duty. You want to go into your settings. Custom layout, okay. Now, the panda icon, you click on it. Now, all this is gonna be um, maybe empty when you first load it. Okay, so this is the left analog stick. You place it over the analog stick. Uh, you change the size accordingly. You want it so that it's just a little bit bigger than the actual analog. The right analog you can put that anywhere on the screen. Then you've got all the other different buttons. If you want to add a button, you click on the tick. Um, this box will come up. Oh no, 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 no. If you want to add another button, you click on the plus button. Uh, you select key. 
and then the circle will appear you press the button on your game pads that you want it to be so if i press a uh, i've already got a but it says okay don't remind so then i've got a uh, so then you drag a over whichever whichever you want it to be so once you're done you click the tick it will disappear uh, you move these ones around to wherever you want then you click the panda and then you move the object to where you want it okay once you've got everything set up the way you want it just click the tick and that's it uh, the settings in it button opacity that's how um, invisible it is POV speed I suggest that you put it all the way down to the bottom And then just press up one it's the best way accurate aiming leave it off quick turning invert invert it if you want those are the options that you've got in there um the add buttons to add something the settings buttons we've just gone through you can record with this okay you can screen record with it if you wanted to and that's it guys you get these buttons you put them over whatever you want it to be and you save it and that's it and you're good to go that's how you can play call of duty with 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 an artificial controller it does work all right it doesn't work the best uh, having a controller normally it is the better way but with the controller issues that we're having hopefully this is going to sort out your game now guys battle royale battle royale is very